The next uh, speaker we have up is Frank Donnelly from McKinnon Mushrooms. Uh, they were set up in 1986 by Frank's father and he's taken over the business since. And uh, it's something that will take the sustainability of the business quite seriously and it's, uh, it's something quite an interesting example here. So I'll, I'll ask Frank to come up here and give us a, an idea of what to do. Uh, good afternoon everybody. Um, I'm not used to this so this will be really quick. Uh, you'll be glad to hear. Um, yeah, my name's Frank Donnelly. I'm uh, a mushroom grower up in the north in County Armagh. Um, uh, I've been growing mushrooms since about 1986 uh, and I took over the farm in 92. Uh, and uh, mainly grow uh, brown mushrooms. There's two types mainly grown in the island of Ireland, whites and browns. I grow browns. Um, and uh, we fill about 60 tonnes of compass, uh, producing about 1,800 kilos, 1,800 uh, or 18,000 kilos of mushrooms per week. Uh, I'm roughly about uh, an average grower. There's growers, uh, especially in the so southern Ireland, are, are much larger than me. Uh, but about 60 tonnes of compass a week is is an average an average mushroom grower today. Um, most of that's done now in a more modern system, Dutch shelving. We have uh, over 3,000 square metres of Dutch shelving on our farm. Um, I'm also a member of Northway. It's a group of growers, 25 of us, have come together uh, for, uh, I think it was set up uh, about 15 years ago. And uh, we looked at, the industry is very difficult. Um, trying to make it pay is tough. So energy is one of the places where we looked at uh, how to be more efficient. Um, Northway as a group has looked at uh, doing energy audits. Um, they used a few companies, uh, Ener Farm Energy Centre in Stoneley, they used that and uh, the, the audits are essentially, the, the primary focus within Northway is to reduce energy consumption first and then conservation of energy sources. Basically you look at trying to save the energy uh, on your farm first how we done that, we looked at our tunnels, our doors, uh, the insulation we were using, uh, the types of fans we were using, um, we tried to get as efficient um, ways of distributing the heat. Um, and then we also need cooling and uh, the electricity was also looked at. Uh, so this has been going on for since 2005 basically. Back in 2005, uh, as a group we looked at uh, renewables. In 2007 I installed uh, 150 kilowatt, that's just a misprint, 150 kilowatt uh, rolling biomass boiler and uh, there wasn't that many on the go back then and uh, luckily enough a neighbouring farmer also was dabbling in, the, in it as well. Another time we got very good very good advice and uh, we were told as part of making the, the rooms more efficient to put in a district heating system and we used uh, underground log store pipes uh, on the, uh, to all the mushroom, mushroom tunnels. Um, uh, then in 2015 we also installed a 100 kilowatt boiler, so of 250 kilowatts of heating we find it very efficient um, and like you're moving from oil which is very convenient phone call, come and fill the aisle, to uh, biomass, and I, I have found it to be super. The fuel we're using, and at this point, um, the, the, the renewables on my farm, anybody who comes to visit me would say, I, I'm very enthusiastic about the fact that uh, the renewables on my farm, um, Northway would invite supermarkets to come and visit, and they would sort of get that enthusiasm that it's it's not only is it uh, saves money, but it, it also is environmentally friendly, which at the back of it all is probably one of the most important things. Uh, we use forestry timber. Uh, we are dry it; it's stored outside. We buy it in around April and May, um, and it's air dried. Mother Nature will dry it in about six or nine months, and then we chip it up as we need it. Um, at the minute we're using about, uh, well, what, what the amount of, amount of fuel we use depends on, on the weather of course, but 
it equates to about 1,500 litres of oil a week. We also burn oil on the farm to steam out, to cook, to kill disease, but uh, the biomass equivalent is about 1,500 litres of oil. Uh, even in that, on that first boiler, we found that um, there, was, there was no RHA, but it was cheaper than oil, and we found it very cost-effective to stand alone on its own two feet, and uh, that's why I looked about the second boiler. So also in 2014, uh, we put in a 50 kilowatt solar panels again. Energy was still an issue. Price of mushrooms was going down. Had luck again. Where can we make savings? So we put we put the uh, up a 50 kilowatt uh, solar panels. And again, that has worked very well. Uh, the return is a wee bit slower, but somebody mentioned long term. All renewables is long term. There's no. You know, there's no big pot of gold at the end of the rain, but we have to think of it over five, ten years. Um, so, uh, sorry, I'm only reading this now. <laughs> um, basically, where where do we go from here? As, as for myself on the farm, things are still very tight. Uh, we decided last year to reinvest, and we invested uh, two and a half, two hundred fifty thousand upgrading the farm, and. I wouldn't be able to do that unless I was able to sh cut costs, and renewables allowed me to cut costs. So uh, without without the the boilers uh, and the biomass and the solar panels, I, I the margins are so tight. So the, the renewables have been able been allowed me to be able to invest. Uh, that's just a weak glance of the more modern way it's grown. The mushrooms are all grown now in shells, and. Uh, just a wee quick note on who Northway is. There was 65 growers in Northway uh, in 2000. There's now 25, but the output is is larger. Farms had to get bigger, more efficient. Uh, look at look at the, the the costs they had on the farm, and uh, we equate about 17 percent of the UK market. And how this has been achieved is just basically focusing on everything I said, focusing on the quality. Of the mushrooms on the on the farm to do that as well, you, um, you have to have a, a good sustainable heat. You have to have a good strong heat, uh, and uh, just to be more, just to be generally more efficient. Um, somebody said earlier, uh, I think Russell, you'd said that farmers can't go to banks or on their own and say, you know, I need money. To go as a group, as a sector, was crucial. Um, we were able to go and tell our story collectively uh, what we needed as a group and it has worked. Thankfully it has worked. Thank you very much.